The area behind me is actually our uh, point of use water testing laboratory at the University of Arizona located at the Environmental Research Laboratory. And the goal of this laboratory uh, is focused on water treatment at the tap as it delivered right at the tap to the consumer. It has two aspects of it too actually. Uh, water treatment in developed countries like the United States where we're trying to ensure the quality of water delivered at the tap and dealing with uh, issues like taste, odors, and some types of microorganisms that may be capable of causing illness in certain individuals. The other aspect is looking at inexpensive water treatment devices for the developing world. Uh, in the developing world, water quality is still a big issue. It's believed that uh, one person in 20 who dies in the world uh, dies because of drinking unsafe water or exposure to unsafe water. So we really have two goals here. One is to improve water and ensure water quality in the developed countries, and the other one is to provide simple, inexpensive devices which can improve the water quality in the developing world. In this laboratory, uh, we do evaluations of water purifiers. Uh, we have the capacity of uh, evaluate filters for the removal of different type of pathogens and chemicals. We can do anything from one uh, single unit to up to nine uh, filters at a time. Uh, we check how good the filter is. Uh, many of the filters claim that they can remove uh, different types of organisms or chemicals. And what we do here is we check them to see if they in, indeed do that removal. Primarily, we're aimed here at removing not only aesthetic components from drinking water, but also those that are capable of causing disease. In the developed world, there's a lot of concern with microorganisms that actually grow in our drinking water distribution systems today. And certain individuals are very susceptible to these. Uh, one example is Legionella bacteria, which causes respiratory diseases, uh, and uh, Nigleria fulleri, which is a particular problem in Arizona, and it can occur in the drinking water in some situations. Uh, Water quality is generally poor in many parts of the developing world, and the goal here is to provide something that's inexpensive uh, to the average person in South America so they can treat the water themselves and ensure high quality water. And what's going on behind me really is an evaluation of one of these types of devices and doing long-term studies to ensure that they can be operated for a long period of time with really adverse water quality uh, to ensure that uh, in the developing world that we can meet the demands of very poor water quality and ensure that the consumer there uh, is going to get water that's safe to drink. Now we're going to do a demonstration of how this unit can clean uh, this dirty water. And essentially I will be adding this water to the filter and then we're going to be filtering the water through the system. And this system is uh, work by gravity. And we will be collecting a sample and the dirty water is passing through several filters, which is removing uh, pathogens that may be present in the water. And it's a much cleaner uh, sample, and it's ready for drink. Really good water. We've aided the, the military in developing uh, water treatment devices they can use all over the world. Uh, technology that we've tested here and evaluated has been used to help the average person when they go backpacking or camping to treat the water from the local stream. Uh, in addition to that, we've also uh, helped with technology for developing water filters you use on your tap today, for example, and systems that are being used in the developing world to ensure safe water in parts of the world where poor water quality is, is normal. Uh, and the future of this is always a challenge of new microorganisms always coming on the scene. Over the last 20 years, almost one new organism was discovered each year that could be transmitted by water. So it's always uh, an effort here to keep technology up with the demands of new organisms being discovered, our ability to control them uh, in our water supply. Some of the challenges in this lab is to see how much water we can test at a time. Initially, we were only able to do about 10 gallons at a time. Uh, in this new lab, we were able to increase the amount of water uh, to 300 gallons. And now we can provide a shorter amount of uh, time to uh, give results to our sponsors. Every time uh, one of these devices is developed or provided in the developing world, lives are being saved all the time. The amount of uh, mortality or death that takes place from 
poor water quality is estimated to be about 4% of the population dies every year in the world from uh, coming in contact with unsafe water. So one of our goals is uh, really to, to provide people in the developing world with simple, cheap water treatment devices that we're going to save lives.